Hey guys, what's up? JD from JD Tech TV here, and we've all seen videos about these big name drones like the DJI Spark, the Mavic, the Phantom, and even the Karma from GoPro. I've even put a few videos out about the DJI Spark myself. So at this point, when it comes to these professional grade drones, we're all aware of one of two things. One, they're really, really awesome. And two, they're really expensive. But what if you're that person that wants to experience what it's like to own a drone without having to shell out hundreds and hundreds of dollars and sometimes even thousands of dollars? Well, in this video, I have three options for inexpensive and fun drones that fit a lot of functionality into their small design. So let me show you what they can do and why you need them. Let's go. These three drones are small enough to fit into the palm of your hand. They're kind of like the micro machines of drones. Hey, wait, I'm being serious. Are micro machines still a thing? Cause we should seriously go and get some like right after this. Hey, leave a comment down below if you remember micro machines. While each one is small, compact and similar in size, they each offer different features that can fit any preference or style. Whether you're looking for a fun gadget for the kids or a high speed drone to give you that permagrin, these drones from TDR have got you covered. I'll make sure to leave a link in the description down below for each one so you can check them out for yourself. First is the Explorer drone. Now some of you who follow my channel may have seen this feature in one of my recent best tech under 50 videos. And there's a reason for that. This thing is so cute and adorable it deserved to be featured twice. Now this is a toy grade drone and I understand it doesn't really look like a drone but wait watch what it does. Watch. <laughs> it never gets old. It's so adorable. <laughs> I mean, seriously, this thing is so cute and adorable. The I, you know what? The only thing that's more adorable than that is its controller. Look at how, look at, look at what a good pair this thing makes. It's so cute. But even though the Explorer is so tiny, its controls are surprisingly precise. I can fly it around with ease. Its control offers some fine tuning controls you see on the larger drones. And the great part about it is that you can feel safe flying it indoors. Its propellers won't hurt you even if it runs into you or anything else. It's the perfect high-tech toy for a low-tech price. Coolest part, you can fit it right in your pocket and carry around with you anywhere you go. The second drone I have for you is the Phoenix Mini, and this little guy is so fast. Plus, it kind of looks like one of those Cylon Raider ships from Battlestar Galactica. And that's okay if you don't know what that is, because that probably means that you have a life. I've watched this series like five times, so... <clears throat> The Phoenix Mini uses the same style remote control that the Explorer does and this is one of the reasons why this is my favorite drone out of the group. I love how ultra portable it is and despite the remote being so tiny, it allows me to perform quick and fast maneuvers with the drone. It has a tiny 2 megapixel camera which really isn't all that useful as it's a pretty low quality image. But to be fair, using this to take pictures or videos really isn't the reason why you buy this in the first place. Granted, it's nice that the option is there, so if you do want to take pictures or videos with it, you can. But seeing how fast it can go making it fly through obstacles and making it do flips is typically what I use it for most. Bottom line, it's just fun. Keep in mind that these blades spin much faster than the Explorers do, and putting on the blade guards is absolutely recommended, as grabbing it out of the sky like I did the Explorer will 100% cause damage to your hand. This thing is way more heavy duty than its small size lets on. It has a lot of nice features that the more heavy duty drones typically share, like a headless drone, multiple speed levels, and automatic hovering. But if you really want to step your game up to the tippy top of the teeny tiny drones, then what you need to get is the Robin Pro. This is one of the smallest drones out of the three, but packs the most features. It has this flexible plastic cage around it, giving it the extra protection you need for yourself and for the drone in case of a crash. It also has a two megapixel camera, just like the Phoenix Mini does, but for some reason, I get a better picture out of the Robin Pro. It also has hover stabilization, headless flight mode, and does 360 flips. But unlike the Phoenix Mini, the Robin Pro also has an auto return feature. You can also program it to circle around an object automatically with its orbit video mode. That's a feature that is typically reserved only for the expensive professional grade drones like the ones from DJI. But TDR decided to throw it into this tiny little package and I love them for it. But perhaps its most unique and amazing feature about the Robin Pro isn't the drone itself it's the controller. This controller has its own screen built right in so there's no need to use your phone to see the FPV. Having the drone's first person view right in your hands makes it incredibly easy to fly the drone no matter how close or far away you are from it. 
The controller also offers the standard trimming controls for adjusting the drone's leveling to ensure you can fly in almost any condition. And at the end of the day, what kind of drone you get is entirely up to the reason why you're wanting to get one in the first place. Are you wanting to use them for photography and cinematography? For speed and power? For portability and functionality? Or just having a fun toy for that permagren? It is entirely up to your preference. But if you're looking for the best portable handheld drones on the market, then these three drones from TDR are what you need. Well, that's it. Thank you so much for watching another review on JD Tech TV. And if you liked the video, make sure to smash that like button. Also, if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the little notification bell next to it so you can be the first to know when one of my new videos goes live. And also, if you don't remember Micro Machines, leave me a comment down below anyway and let me know which one of the drones you like the best. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see y'all soon.